In this video, I'll show you how to remove the header and the footer on the Squarespace website. To begin, visit spacetutorials.com and click on the Remove the Header and Footer on a Squarespace website tutorial. So you may be asking, why would I want to remove the header and or the footer on my Squarespace website? Uh, one good reason is if you are building a landing page, whether it's for uh, pay-per-click or for another reason, you'll want to remove the header and or footer to keep the user on your web page. To begin, highlight the code, copy the code, and then go to your Squarespace website. So in this example, I've got a landing page for my free ebook. So I've got an image of the ebook, a description of it, and then the form the user must fill out to get an email to them. Since I want to keep the user on this page and not go off onto other pages of my website, I want to remove the header and the footer. So on the left side, I've got my landing page. I'll click the gear icon to access the page settings. Click on the advanced tab and then paste in the code that we just copied from the tutorial. This code is just going to remove the header and the footer just for this page. Click the save button and we can now see that the header and the footer is now removed. And we can double check that it also is hidden from the tablet version and the mobile version. The other option I include is if you want to keep the header but just remove the navigation links. To do that, highlight the code, copy the code, Go to your Squarespace website, click on the gear icon for your landing page, click on the advanced tab. Since I want to remove the footer as well as the header, but just remove the navigation links, I'll delete the code that's there and then paste in the new code and then click save. So as you can see, we've got the website title and the search, but no links, and the footer is now back. Now you can piece together the different parts to hide or show what you want. So here we've got the, the desktop header, and then we've got the mobile header. And then we've got the announcement bar. So if you wanted to hide the announcement bar as well, include this into your code. So for example, let's copy that, go back to our Squarespace website, click the gear icon, click advanced, and then since we're going to add another item to be hidden, I'll put a comma after the last item and then paste in the announcement barcode. Click Save. And as you can see, the announcement bar is now hidden. And you can do this for the other items. So if we wanted to also remove the footer, copy the footer code, click the gear icon for the landing page, click the advanced tab, and then paste in the footer code that we just copied from the tutorial. Click Save, and the footer is now hidden. So the only thing left that we have is the website title and the search bar. And that's it.